Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market's gone this past week so far, where we think the market's going in the coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. But last video, I said that I was uh, looking for longs on NASDAQ to take out the, the highs. And uh, we did that actually yesterday on the soft CPI. So CPI came in lower than expected, and we kind of just trended up and then um, chopped around during the trading day. But we took out the highs at about 15,500. And I, I was said in the last video, I was looking to build longs just below that 15,200 area. So my average long on NQ uh, ended up being 15,163. Uh, Stop being below the swing lows down here at about 15,000. And then uh, TP being up here. So it was about a two to one. Uh, I'm out of the long. And I actually did take a starter short, a 25% position short on uh, NASDAQ at 15,500. I took it yesterday. It was 15,501, like after I took profit here, I just thought, you know, we took out liquidity, so let me get in a starter short after we took out liquidity. Uh, based on seasonality, uh, we're basically looking to go up just, let's say today, maybe tomorrow, but then middle of July into August, we're expected to, to downtrend on NASDAQ. So, um, you know, that's just seasonality, it's just one thing, but there's a few things I'm looking at, and uh, that's why I'm looking to build some shorts. We had the, the dollar really be extremely weak. So if you just see the dollar, obviously really, really low. I have this alert set for uh, 99.6 because I think that could be a bottom. We already did take out all the recent lows. And again, once when the dollar is weak, NASDAQ and, and SE 500 trend up. I said this plenty of times. So now that we took out the lows, uh, at least you know I can get a little more confident that we may find support somewhere soon and then bounce back up. And when we bounce back up, We'll see some weakness for the Nasdaq, but right now, obviously very, very weak. We're It's 7.30 and at 8.30 we have PPI coming out, so we'll see if PPI is soft and this pushes down more and we get another push push up on the Nasdaq and ES one more time maybe and then start to trend down in the coming weeks. But again, if you just look at this chart from left to right, we've only been trending up, so realistically, no one should be taking shorts. I know I did said I took a starter position short at 15,500, but there's just a few things I'm looking at. I'm, I'm basically just watching for us to uh, pull back into the 15,300 area in the coming two weeks. And uh, once I get more confirmation of that turn, then I'll, I'll add more to the position. But for now, start a short at 15,500. Uh, hard stop being at, at about 15,800. But um, I'm just going to be looking to scale in as the days go on. Go on. So, you know, again, expecting, you know, VIX is still super weak. VIX did fill the gap. Uh, I said last time that, you know, every time we've had this push up, we kind of just dumped to new lows. So maybe this pushes down to new lows. We get down to about 12.6 on the VIX, and then that's, that's, that's like the top. Very possible. So just be watching the VIX. Uh, again, every single time we've had this push up, we put went to new lows, push up, went to new lows. So we could find some support at about 13 or just below 13, and then that's where there'll be a short opportunity. But for now, intraday, definitely only look for longs. Like today, intraday, I'm gonna be looking for longs on ES and NQ. ES, we just slightly took out yesterday's high. And um, I said in the last video, I was looking for the 45.20 area as a top. We're at 45.20, but again, no signs of, of real slowing down right now. But once we find some bottoming with the dollar, once we find some bottoming with the VIX, likely find a top maybe 4540 on ES and Q maybe top out at about 15650 uh, maybe 15700 this week and then start to turn back down trade into 15300 possibly taking out the uh, 15040 swing low we just put in at some point in August I just want to give you this update before we head into the trading day again just looking for intraday longs on NQ and ES but starting to build swing longs on NQ and I'll wait, for, I'll wait for more confirmation with the VIX, the put to call ratio, and DXY. Once I have confirmation with that and price action on NQ, when we kind of find a top and really pull back. We've just been kind of trending and floating straight up overnight. This was after CPI. So there's a swing low here at 15,343, and we've kind of just been trending up. Once we break the support down just below 15,500, and we start to come back up and respect some highs, then I can look to build in some shorts and target this uh, 15,300 swing low. Uh, that's just kind of what I'm looking at in terms of the shorts right now. So that's going to conclude this video. Happy trading. Look out for the next video coming out Sunday. I'll do a full market recap on how the week went and I'll do a breakdown on all the trades I took this past week. Um, so far, great trading week. Captured about like 500 points on NASDAQ 
uh, and some scalps on ES intraday, even some spy calls intraday. But yeah, great trading week overall and started to switch my bias to the short bias uh, slowly, you know, not, not getting too excited yet because we likely have a couple more days of positivity before we start to roll over. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below what we're gonna see more of. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.